Hi, <clears throat> I'm Ginny from the UK. I'm here at Nimeokaya and I've just completed my second retreat. I was here two years ago in 2022. I came in 2022 because I had been having recurring disturbing painful dreams. For many years I've been working on myself, on my emotional psychological development. I've been doing that through talking therapy, through dream work, dream workshops, through yoga and meditation practices. But I had these persistent disturbing dreams that I just could not bring up into my consciousness to process them, to understand them. So I discovered ayahuasca a couple of years ago. I discovered about it, heard about it. I'd never had any previous experience of any psychedelic substances or anything at all like this. But it seemed to me something that might help. So I came and I engaged in the four ceremonies and during those four ceremonies, it became clear to me what those dream images and feelings were all about. And they revealed to me, the medicine revealed to me traumas from my early childhood that I hadn't known about. So it was a transformative time back then, and I was really grateful for the work. And I left and I continued actively working with the integration process, which we are encouraged to do at the end of these retreats. And I did, I continued my process and those dreams stopped. And I brought about some significant changes in my life, positive changes. But because my dream life has always been part of my life and has, in a sense, tried to guide me, which is what dreams do. I then over the last, within the last 12 months, I started to have other dreams, which again, I couldn't really quite fathom. And, and then I began to have these, these thoughts about coming back here, about coming back using the plant medicine. It just kept popping in and out of my mind. So that was the decision I took in September, I came to this retreat. So it's my second retreat. And this time around, the ceremonies again were very intense, but brought up for me very clearly what these dreams were telling me that I needed to understand and know about and also to integrate in into myself into my life so that I could bring about some more changes that would be would lead to a more healthy way of, of my living a more healthy way of experiencing my life and my relationships so I understood what these other dreams were showing me by coming back here. So the revelations again were, were huge and distressing and connected with childhood traumas. But I've completed now this retreat and words can't capture my gratitude for the medicine and the help that it's given me and my gratitude to the retreat to Nimea Kaya and to all the people here that go to make Nimea Kaya what it is and that obviously includes the facilitators and Casey who has led the retreat and they provide a very safe container within which this important work can take place where you feel very safe and secure 
otherwise I don't believe it would work. So I'm deeply grateful to them. And of course, I'm also deeply grateful to the shamans who are part of each of the ceremonies, who work with each person individually. I'm very grateful to, for their healing capacities and for the healing that they have brought about within me. Another important aspect of the work which um, contributes to this um, development that can happen is the group within which you're working, the other people, the other members of the group. And this group, this time around for me, was, was a, a smaller group. There were seven of us. And it's, you become supportive. It's a little bit like a family a family group where you support each other and you take care of one another in different ways that shows up in different ways and you and you pay attention to each other and you respect each other's individual processes and that is all part of this experience this is all part of what happens internally as you work through the ceremonies and you work through the experience of being here so it's very difficult, as I say, to put into words the magnitude of the healing potential of this medicine. And had I not come to Nimaya Kaya 2022 and again this time, I think my life would be very different to how my life is now. Um, I'm 67 years old today. I've retired from my professional life and I'm looking forward now to the unfolding of the remainder of my life and I'm looking forward to that in a very much more optimistic and hopeful way because I am no I feel like I'm no longer will no longer be carrying with me so much um, negative emotional experience that is from my childhood that would just be sitting there and would just be staying with me and showing up in different ways maybe who knows I can't say for sure but it could impact my health impact the choices that I go on to make but I feel so different now about the next period of time ahead of me So this isn't um, something that needs to be taken lightly, I believe, making the decision to come here and use the medicine because it is very powerful. But I think if you come with respect for the medicine and with the right intentions for the medicine and for your own, what, what, what you would like to achieve from it, it is, it offers that opportunity for real deep change and meaningful development emotionally, psychologically, perhaps physically. So all I really just want to repeat again now is my deep, deep gratitude to everybody here who makes Nimaya Kaya what it is because without them it wouldn't be it wouldn't be this way and I wouldn't have benefited to the depths that I have benefited so I'm very 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 sincerely grateful thank you